Hello, everyone, and welcome to a Wednesday edition of the Orange and Brown Talk podcast, a new league year edition of the podcast. I'm Dan Lobby with Mary Kay Cabot. We're going to get to some Hey, Mary Kay questions a little bit later, but Mary Kay, there was news uh, about two hours here before we recorded this. The Browns landed their safety. This was a position a lot of people were watching. It was a player a lot of people were watching. Um that this is somebody you've mentioned. Uh, I think I had him as the, my guy from the Chiefs that, that the Browns should target. So this is going to be a very popular signing. And I'm speaking, of course, of Juan Thornhill, who uh, comes to the Browns from the Chiefs, uh, has won a couple of Super Bowls there. He took over as a starter there recently uh, when Teron Matthew left and you know, they brought in Justin Reed. And, and he's had a bigger role in that defense, kind of a growing role over the years. So this is a pretty good signing here. And this to me is just, again, we've talked about this, Mary Kay, Andrew Barry, knowing what he needs and just going out and taking a very targeted approach to, to free agency. Yeah. I mean, they really needed to get a, a good veteran safety in here to replace John Johnson, the third, who was released today as we're taping this with that June 1st designation. And we can explain that a little bit more uh, in detail in a little bit here. Um, but they needed to do this. They needed to go out and get that veteran presence there uh, to help down, hold down the fort there at safety. Uh, Juan, Juan Thornhill uh, was a 2019 draft pick of the Chiefs. And, uh, you know, he's started a lot of football games. He's been to the Super Bowl. He's actually been to a physically been to a Super Bowl two different times. Uh, one time in his first year, he didn't actually get to play in the Super Bowl that they won. Uh, because he tore an ACL in the season finale that year in 2019. So he didn't get to play in that Super Bowl, but then he came back and, and grabbed, uh, you know, grabbed the Super Bowl victory uh, this past February. So uh, he comes with a lot of experience. He, uh, he was the number 44th safety by Pro Football Focus, uh, in 2022. So not super highly ranked. I mean, you're not talking about a Jesse Bates necessarily or one of the top safeties in the NFL, but he should be a really good solid starter. And, um, you know, and, and maybe even part of the rotation if they, if they work some other guys in there. Uh, but he's somebody that can come in at a, at a very reasonable price, $7 million a year and nail down that starting job. I, I think the number two is important because, you know, we spent a lot of time here talking about Jesse Bates and he got a huge contract to go to Atlanta. Um, so, so this, I mean, look, this isn't chump change. It's still a, a sizable contract, but this is, you know, obviously a little more, I think in line of maybe what we expected the Browns to be able to pay, especially because they paid so much for the defensive, you know, something's got to give. And I know, you know, they'll structure these contracts in a way it's probably not going to hit the cap too hard this year, but you know, you do still need to be wary of, of that, of what you're paying year to year. And when you spend that much at defensive tackle that, you know, that money has to come out of someplace else I'd imagine. Yes. I mean, it, it really definitely does. And, you know, they went out and they got their defensive end on Monday and they got their defensive tackle and they're paying Delvin Tomlinson. I think it's somewhere in the neighborhood of about $14 million a year. So that's another double digit million guy. Uh, now, in terms of um, of their of Obo, he is only somewhere in the neighborhood of I think a little bit over six and a half million dollars a year. Uh, so he was more in line with the price of Juan Thornhill, and um, so yeah, you do have to cut corners somewhere. Now they were interested in Jesse Bates. They were interested in C.J. Gardner Johnson. They had some of these guys in their sights. Um, but, you know, like you said, you can't afford everybody. And I think that they accomplished what they wanted to with these three guys. They needed a defensive tackle. They needed a defensive end. And they needed a safety. They needed veteran guys to plug into those positions. And, and they got them. And they got them at prices they can afford them at. And they took the pressure off of themselves to have to go drafting one of these guys. 